So uh, for this term, for example, it's the top term. It's been queried 35 times, and it only has a 17% uh, action rate, which means that only 17% of the people that made queries actually went and clicked something, which is an indication that something in the result list that people are getting is not attractive enough to be clicked. And furthermore, a good candidate for a best bet. So I would uh, look at this result list and find the things that have both the highest number of queries and the highest number of abandonment or no results and make best bets for these terms. Very easy. Find a document that you think is probably the best document for that specific term and make it as a best bet. Other things in the search uh, analytics like w uh, top queries and number of queries can be interesting, but really if you want to improve search you need to focus on the failure points and and action those um, first and foremost. Another thing that's extremely useful and I think everyone should do with the web analytics reports is use the analysis section of on the ribbon here <coughs> to do different kinds of benchmarking against the results. First of all, you can see what different time spans have produced. You can also make custom time spans. So you can actually see uh, different types of performance over time. And you can set those here and then look at that report, download that report, compare that with another time span. So that's extremely useful. Um, especially when you're dealing with failed queries to see whether uh, best bets that you've made have Im actually improved the overall performance of the search engine. The other thing that you can do here is you can um, customize reports and uh, export your reports to a spreadsheet so you can actually store them and, and make different comparisons in Excel. And you can schedule alerts and reports. And this is something that I would highly recommend everybody to do on a weekly basis. Not schedule them on a weekly basis, but have them delivered to you using this out-of-the-box SharePoint work we uh, web flow, or workflow sorry, that will deliver analytic reports about best bets and other search-based um, reports directly to your mailbox. So what we see here is we just want to schedule a web analytics report. I'll name it... Uh, new best bets and I'll put it in the tasks let's choose workflow tasks in any case and put it to next okay so here on this next page I can choose a recipient choose myself I can give myself a nice little message and choose how often I want it, the frequency. Um, I would recommend first at least to have it weekly. Then afterwards, maybe if you don't see any change over a weekly basis, you can change it to monthly or quarterly if you, if you add a bunch of best bets and they seem to be doing fine. You can, of course, choose a number of different analytics from the list here in order to have delivered directly to you. Uh, I would recommend um, separating them in different time spans, different times that are going to be sent to you so you don't get you know a huge mail with 30 different reports in it uh, once a week. You know, maybe send these to you yourself on Friday so you can see what the best bets are. Really the best ones that you want to see are the best bet suggestions if SharePoint has any suggestions for you and the failed queries so you can actually see what failed queries are there. Other things like top queries are interesting, top refers, things like that. Other analytical information which I won't cover here is also in interesting but for search really the most important to see on a regular basis are the failed queries and the best bet suggestions to see if there's anything that really needs uh, actioning automatically. Like I said, doing it on a weekly basis at first can be very helpful and then extending that later on to a monthly basis can be useful too. Then you just click, click finish and your new best bet will appear. So I have several here already, already set. You can of course manage these and delete them if you want uh, by using this workflow page. And this is really just under team sites, this is site settings and then workflows, manage workflows. So I'm just going to remove that one that I just created. So I don't get an alert. Okay, great. Finally, I want to show you uh, what we do in Ontolica Search with best bets. Uh, I think you've all heard of uh, Fast for SharePoint, which has um, some enhanced best bet capabilities. 
Uh, you can actually make visual best bets in Fast for SharePoint. But if you don't want to go all the way to Fast in order to get a little bit of uh, key functionality, there are options like Ontalica Search for that. I'll just do a quick search for term solar here. And we can see the visual best bet that Ontalica has provided. There's a number of elements. Uh, first of all, we can see that a few of the elements in the best bet is, are clickable. Um, th there's an image which we can add, and there's a longer description and uh, a, a link to the actual page at the bottom, so we can actually uh, have a much more sophisticated best bet. If I show you also the um, Ontalica search, or sorry, Ontalica search and preview page, and do the same search, you can actually see with Ontalica preview you can get not only visual best bets but visualization of every single document so really the need for best bets becomes less when you have uh, this kind of functionality I know there are several of our customers on the webinar today so I will show you now how to set up best bets in Ontalica as well um, unlike the best bet feature in out-of-the-box SharePoint search. Ontelica allows you to change best bet functionality on uh, not only the site collection level but on every site level where you may have different search centers enabled. So we can actually click on Ontelica search tabs at this lower level site and see um, all of the different best bet features. You can have best bets for different tabs even, for people tabs, for all sites or whatever tab you may have, you can have custom bets, bets for those particular tabs. We'll go into the All Sites tab and check our Best Bets page, where we have made a couple of best bets here. I'll just use one for time's sake that I've already created, the one that I showed you, and we can see how to create this in, in Ontalica. Give it a title, give it a description. You can also use HTML in the description, so you can do all sorts of cool formatting in there if you want. I've just added some breaks in order to space it up. You can group the best bets, um, and you can choose which keywords you want to action that best bet, and of course give it a target URL. You can add an image, which will appear to the left, and also, as I mentioned, have the link. You can uh, decide also when you have a sp date span, like out-of-the-box best bets as well. And finally, in a neat addition to Ontelica Best Bets is you can choose audiences. So you, if you set an audience in Central Admin in the shared service application in order to, uh, sorry, in the user profile service to uh, determine where, what kind of audiences can have, um, you can choose those here in the Best Bets and have these Best Bets appear only to a specific group. In this case, this best bet only appears to employees at Surfray that are in North America, not those in Europe. So that's great. And that's about all I had to show today in my demonstration of uh, best bets. Just a reminder, uh, Surfray is a leading provider of search solutions for SharePoint. That's for SharePoint 2010, for Moss, and um, also for Fast for SharePoint. We have Ontalica Search and Ontalica Preview and lots of new products coming out. Do feel free to contact us. Here are my and Josh's uh, contact details. If you have any questions about anything you've seen today, please feel free to send us a mail and ask uh, for more detail. Uh, now I'll just take a moment to see if there's any questions in the chat or if anyone would like to see something um, again that I went over too quickly. I'm not seeing anything, so I'll close the meeting soon and remind you that this video will be posted to YouTube uh, and to our site, so you can go and watch it uh, later if you like. Thanks very much for attending today. I hope it was uh, valuable. Have a nice day.